Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to do a quick overview of how to complete a factory hard reset on uh, your Asus router. So as we can see here this is the uh, GT AXC 16000. So this is called method 2 by Asus where you have to complete uh, a series of uh, steps where you have to power on the actual router while holding down the WPS button. So as you can see on this router, it is uh, quite straightforward on here. So as we come round, you'll see on the side there where I have the WPS button. So the uh, WPS button might be different on your router. Um, so wherever you find it on there, this is the where you'll have to hold down that button while actually switching on the actual uh, router itself. So when you actually do switch it on, so before you do, you need to hold down that WPS button, as I said. Once you held it down, then flick the switch or push the button to power on the router. Then you will obviously see an LED light come on where the power is. And uh, wait for that to come on. And then when it actually goes off, then you need to switch off your uh, router by the actual switch or button. And that means it's completed the uh, factory kind of hard reset. Um, so this is where you've had issues where you can, you uh, cannot connect to your router or you have uh, completed a factory reset on your router uh, using the standard uh, app or the uh, web interface on the router and uh, it's not responding for anything. So this is where you literally, uh, hopefully it will reset everything back to the original settings and it will clear the memory and everything else and uh, hopefully we'll get you back to normal. So we're just going to go through the steps now. So now we're going to go through the process of actually doing the hard factory reset. So as I said, first of all you need to make sure it's plugged in uh, and that's quite obvious and then you need to hold down your WPS button that you have on your router and then also now switch it on. You'll see the power light come on, so on this particular model the power light is here. So what you'll be looking for is the power light to come on and then once that goes out, then we can. That means it's a, a hard reset, and we can actually then uh, switch off the router using the button or switch. So if we just do that now, so if I hold down the button and switch on the the router, you'll be able to see here. I've got a power light coming on. It might be a little bit faint, but I can see that the power light is on. So of course I'm holding it down. So you can see the power light now is quite strong as it's come on and I'm waiting for that to actually go off so once that light uh, switches off as you see now the light has just gone off I can release the WPS button and I get, now I can uh, flick the switch to switch it off that means now the router is um, actually done the hard factory reset and uh, it should hopefully but everything back to normal so you will have no issues with the router going forward and then you can reset it up. I would advise that if you do have backup settings and they were perhaps causing issues before then uh, perhaps you need to start afresh. I know it's a bit more extra work but sometimes the configuration files can actually pass on the uh, problem that you had prob uh, before so it's best to set it up as a new uh, and create a new network. Okay, so I hope you found this video uh, helpful. As usual, if you have any comments or questions, then please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and have a great day.